Hi everyone, I want to show you quickly how to install Chimera, the version that uses AutoPack. So Chimera is a molecular viewer and I'm looking at the HIV 1.0 model inside of Chimera. You can see I've also loaded the shell that indicates the, the boundaries of uh, the lipid bilayer for the envelope. I've set some transparency so you could see through that and altered some of the default colors that Chimera uses because this current version doesn't use the coloring scheme set up by uh, AutoPack. So let's begin on the, the website that you'll start on, which is explaining that we now have molecular viewers available. This is under documentation on the autopack.org website, documentation, tutorials, and molecular viewers. And I might split up separate pages for the different molecular viewers as they become available, but you can read some information. And ultimately, in this case, you get to decide that you want to install Chimera, which brings you to this page. There's some information about Chimera. There's the license that you'll agree to. Make sure that you follow those terms. And then you link to their the UCSF Chimera download page. And you this is the critical part. You cannot download 1.7 because that doesn't have the AutoPack reader file. You need to go down to this daily build section. And in my case, I click on Mac OS 64-bit. I've read this and I agree. And that downloads. And once it does, it's a very standard uh, DMG installer on a Mac and familiar installers for Windows and Linux as well. And after you run those installers, You'll end up with on a Mac Chimera that you can put into your dock, for example, and you can simply click open, and you have with this 1.8 that you installed, you'll have this new auto pack result file type .apr. And I'll show you in a subsequent video how to open an APR file and how to manipulate the, the viewport to change colors, change opacities, get these nice settings with the real-time shadows. And um, if you have the version that is using PDB files instead of uh, these dead STL meshes, you'll be able to change the representations and I'll show you how to do that as well.